you want to be a YouTube? Yeah. Oh, you guys are YouTubers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's your page? What's your channel? Uh, TJ and Maya. TJ and Maya. Okay, we'll look for it. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's a couple channel? Yeah, it's a couple channel. Nice. <laughs> guys, big shout out to my girlfriend. She made it possible. Awesome girlfriend. Y'all should get a girlfriend like mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. This is day seven. I think day seven. If not seven or eight, I kind of lose track. So we're about to go on a, a, a cruise. So let's see how that go. I guess we're gonna go on a yacht. Huh? Cappuccino and a donut. Cappuccino? Quiere cappuccino con donut. Ella quiere jazmín. ¿Qué de jazmín? Sí, gracias. You know, I'm not too know Spanish, but I know a little basic language, you know? Basic words. Alright, so I'm bring it outside. I'm going to see the yacht there. de comenzar este maravilloso día necesitamos un minuto de su atención para brindar instrucciones de seguridad y del uso del catamarán Before we start this amazing day we will need one minute of your attention to give you important information regarding onboard safety and catamaran usage Estaremos utilizando nuestros zapatos a bordo There is no smoking on board and we won't be using our shoes on board por favor, si van a usar protector solar o aceite en spray, vigilen que no caiga al suelo, porque podríamos resbalar. Please, if you're going to use sun protection or oil in spray, be careful it doesn't fall on the floor. Afraid of the nets, they are very safe. Each one has the capacity for 10 adults. Thank you.
Alright guys, so we're off the boat, we're on an island. What island name? Taboka. 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 We're on Taboka Island. So we have like a, um, I think an hour and a half. Oh shit, they're gonna search before we come off. They have some coast guard guys. You have a video them? Yeah. Oh, back. Checking for weapon? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys, so we just get searched for some strange reason. So we're on the let me get a picture of the sign. It's called the Taboga. It says the Taboga Island. So I guess we're just gonna get something to eat and I don't know, party a little bit, buy some souvenirs and then go back on the boat so yeah that's pretty much it i don't know what else we're gonna do i guess we're just going to walk around until we find something for them i don't know what else we're gonna do what do you think it's huh? it's a restaurant mm. all right so we're gonna try one restaurant and them have shrimp you know so anywhere there's shrimp there there's some meat there Alright oh, guys, so we find a restaurant with name. Um actually named Kalalu. Kalalu, so you know you know that shit more. Oh shit. My music. Jamaica Jamaica Costa Rica, Limon, Costa Rica, that place is Jamaica, Limon, Limon. Make a supply them with herbs, you know. Oh, weed, ganja, ganja, light up this Guys, the sun is so hot that this is a crime. Actually, it's hot. Mama, this is not normal. Sorry. Guys, no man, I know. Ah, fuck. Uh, I'm not say now. Well, We start engine with this green button up. Mm -hmm. Stop engine with red when you came. Okay? okay. This is the only thing. No, but it's not Yeah? Come on, go on, go on. Make it.
fire full of gun like Remington. Fully charged up, he got to kill a man. I act the gang for me, gang pussy run up with your wife. Creep my life, I'm not the most of fighting. I do make a light night to make the place get in eyes. You never know, see, I look a drop in, I could have run in a yard. Alright, guys, so we're coming off the island now. We're back on the boat. We're tired as hell. We're just done jet ski, eat, buy some souvenir and stuff. So now it's back on the boat to go home. Well, back to the hotel. Me personally tired. Where are you? Tired, so I want to get some sleep now. So I'll probably sleep on the boat back. Is that video going to be on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, you guys are YouTubers? Yeah. Oh, what's your page? What's your channel? Oh, uh, TJ Maya. TJ Maya. Okay, we'll look for it. That's okay, sure. Yes, yeah, a couple channel. Nice, nice. Yeah. So we just need some friends. Hi guys. It's back at it again. Back at it again. <laughs> this is our last day, actually. So the final shopping. Final shopping. We're at Albert Mall today because there's this good Ola suitcase. Hi guys, I need a suitcase. An extra suitcase, so let's go. So this is for an end, but you know what you must see? Us seat for something there? Yeah, I got this one. Oh, okay. So, welcome back. I just come to show them my Wendy's. I bought Wendy's here. I'm going to try something new. And the first thing, that will catch my eye is that them sell chicken. Right? The Wendy's over here. They sell chicken, but guess how we get? Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks are everybody from home that. So when this over here sell so mozzarella sticks. Jamaica. If you're a girl like me, you I love food, you have to go. You have to go. Come better for all my man. Cause I don't make fun of my teeth more right now. But not like. Yeah guys, some mozzarella sticks. I tell her it's spicy chicken, you know, but I don't know understand because she doesn't speak Spanish. Alright, the burger is good, but that's okay. Good thing we'll buy a mozzarella stick and we'll get fries. No, no. Well, guys, I'm back on a trip. Seventeen, I drop in at his party five feet. Me can't hit now, miss. Me think that most swift, me gun them now stick. Cover, cover them sick. Miss me, coming up till dawn. That's crazy. I'm here to tell you the truth. You know, I'm just telling you something. So, where are you? Alright, we're gonna become with the cheese, but no cheese. Alright, I'm gonna eat it. But I'm gonna eat it. I'm more interested in the mozzarella sticks. Bye, Wendy's. Cute, cute. I'm gonna get to our barbecue sauce. I'm gonna eat Alright, guys, so we're on our final day. This is where we depart from Panama for my birthday week. So we're about to leave the hotel now and try to catch another flight. Until next time, this is Maya. Yeah. No, okay, I'm going to breakfast. Guys, big shout out to my girlfriend. She made it possible. Awesome girlfriend. Y'all should get a girlfriend like mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we're having a great time in Panama though. Like, it's one of my best videos. Yeah, best trip so far. Yeah, I love it. So definitely recommend try coming to Panama. It'll be nice. Tired though, guys. I don't mind me more sleep. Yes, right. early. It's like what time now? Yes. Nine o'clock. It's like nine o'clock now, guys. So it's an early flight. So we'll be back in Jamaica by. I think it's flight is at twelve. So by probably by 2 30 supposed to reach. So until then, stay tuned. And this is his first time. 
here because they will ever wake up. I come one time already, but it was never good. So when I feel like myself, I come up my time. But it's the only free thing you get, and every night you can see. So since I leave, I wake up early, like I said, I get some. Don't some money enough, then the way a female is No, so you must so mad, my kill them no work so Long as him a jack food too well swag And now I be done for anything start Full in a full charge and full in a You must be sick And I say the deal a job in a list Hard if I pick me cart it now miss Me finger more swift, me gun them now stick Cause we go with them sick Home time. Hola. Time to be. Where go after this? Home. Oh. <laughs> no, that's in the next trip. Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. Or Mexico. No. No, Mexico. Uh, I'm the Turks and Caicos. Turks. Yeah. Oh, Turks. Turks. Guys, what are what are the people on the TV? I first met a coffee when I did the TV. All oh, of them now have a little screen right here. Oh no, 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 no. Can I bubble? Hello. Alright, guys, so when we land, we'll start by the line. Peace. Finally, come face burn up. She's um, yeah, come look yeah. black. Oh, my don't black already, but still. Me, that, that should have been too. Well, the time is so hot, but we're here. Mm -hmm. Finally, guys, finally back. We are hungry. Yes. KFC. Yes, real, yes, actually, yes. Real KFC. I say, no, we're going long, you know, because from my ear, we are talking about KFC. Yeah. So, like, friendly with it. Um, am going Going back to authentic Jamaican food. Yeah, I'm tired, y'all, so. Anyway, so I'm still going. Are you sure I'm driving? I'm still my birthday. I don't have no license. <laughs> oh yeah, you lost the license, huh? I lost my license, huh? so tomorrow. Yeah. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. Bye, y'all. See y'all in the next one. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog or channel. It's a girl Moya and. Right now, I'm going to be giving you guys pointers, tips on how to book your own trip. Here, here, here. What? Nothing. How to book your own trip to Panama so you don't have to use a travel agent or a travel agency. Yeah, it's 2024. Y'all don't need to be using travel agents. I promise you. You can do it yourself. It's just little tricks and trades you need to know and I'm going to be helping y'all out. So let's go. First thing first, your flight. When you're going to Panama, you have to use this airline called the Copa Airline. Um, go on the site. I'm going to put in the screen recordings and screenshots right here so you can see it. Go on the site, choose the date that you want to travel, and learn to look for like cheaper flights. So, well, it depends. If your trip is going to be flexible, then you can choose around the date. So, for example, if you want to travel on a Tuesday, but you realize that the flight on Monday is cheaper, then if you can, you can just try to grab the Monday one. But Copa Airlines to get to Panama. I don't know, I don't think there's any other flight that flew from Jamaica to Panama straight. So I would definitely recommend using Copa Airline. Two, your taxi from the airport to where you're staying. You can book this on booking.com. Booking.com is my baby. That's my best friend. Anytime I'm traveling, that's what I use to book everything. Where I'm staying, the activities, everything. Check them out, y'all. It's really good. When you go on it, you can put in the exact dates that you want to go somewhere. And you can find the excursions, um, where to stay. As I say, everything you can find from booking.com. It's my best friend. When you go on booking.com to book your taxi, there's going to be a section for air, um, airport taxi. You put in the airport, 
um no you put in the flight the flight and it finds the exact time that your flight will reach to the country and then you can book a taxi put in your name so you know when you go to the airport now you can see the man them or the taxi whoever female or male with a little name on a sign you feel really nice and it's a good experience and it's really cheap it's usually around 20 dollars 25 i've never paid more than 25 dollars wherever i'm traveling to so you can check that out for sure where to stay in panama all right so first of all panama do not have all inclusive hotels most of the hotels if not all it's just free breakfast and some don't offer anything at all panama is a it's like a city vibe and a caribbean vibe so it's so much things to do in panama trust me you do not need to book the most expensive hotel in panama you do not need because you won't be at, you won't be at the hotel for majority of the days most you're gonna do there is sleep probably eat breakfast if you are early person and that's it so i would recommend rio it is it is beautiful um not too costly but at the same time it can get cheaper place as i'm saying i need nowhere expensive y'all because you won't be staying at the hotel all day panama you can literally walk up and down and have a good time even if you don't plan to do a specific activity on a specific day you can walk up and down and um, try the new food places go to the mall you'll always be on the road so do not waste your money as book the most luxurious or most extra hotel because you don't need it they're not all inclusive and they don't really have much it's not like you know like for jamaica all inclusive you'll have you know the drinks them free drinks whatever whatever a little party i keep over there so nothing is at the hotel but sleep and um, bed <laughs> breakfast and just you know designs and all that whatever you call it so you don't need to kill up yourself to go find the most expensive place in panama find somewhere reasonable that's um yeah that's affordable for you and wants it comfortable you know as long as no little bed book no go buy it in your bed you just know safe you just want to say clean have good wi-fi and it's in a good location near to the malls and just the city the city part and you can find all of those hotels or airbnbs on booking.com Shoot, we do want to know something else about that now. Oh, yes. Another thing. When you're booking the place to stay, research. Research is key. Read all the reviews. Not one, two, three reviews. Make sure it's to the place of all 100 and add 200 and add. Because, you know, any place can just put up a site and then put all 10 reviews as a trickle. No. If you don't want to get scammed by your friend, find a place where I have hundreds of reviews and go through them. Also, when we like to do... Because I'm a nerd, you know, I have to make sure so when I go, I'm sure about Go on YouTube. So, me will literally type in the hotel name. So, for example, when I was booking, I type in Rio, Panama, pan YouTube and watch videos. Watch videos of people videoing how the room stay, is it clean, how the hotel stay, how the pool size, everything. Me, me is a nerd, so I have to know everything before I go somewhere. So, you can definitely do that. YouTube is your best friend too. Reviews. Read reviews and YouTube anything we're not sure about. Or even TikTok because people do reviews on TikTok too. So you can go over TikTok and watch some videos and find out some more stuff. Another thing, y'all, when you are traveling, especially if you're traveling alone, you're a solo traveler or whatever them call it, remember to tell your bank that you're traveling. I forgot to do that and it's such a rookie mistake because you see when that bank shut down that card on you, and you're in a foreign country, you gotta help you because it's very limited. I don't even think I can even get for call the bank. I mean, if I have no option for call the bank for tell them, say, hey, I'm in Panama, whatever. A good thing, say, I wasn't traveling alone, you know, so I had help. But for the girls, them well, love to travel alone. And so make sure you tell your bank for them to shut down your card for you because it is hell. Trust me, when you go to place them. Oh, and increase your limit too. Because when you go to Panama, Panama is a shopping place. You can see to look at nice things where you want. You know, even if it's not expensive things, them. You just want to know, say, if you see something and you want to buy it, you don't have to worry that you pass it. You exceed the limit for the day. So just increase your limit to a good amount for the while you're traveling. Next thing, service. You know, most places might not have Wi-Fi. You don't want to the on the road and you know, oh, you can book your Uber, go home, and whatever, whatever. Somebody actually recommended this to me, and I had to share it with y'all. So the app is called Allosim. You can go on it. Especially if you have, um, I don't remember which phones have the eSIM them, but you will know. You can send me the comments. Um, you can buy buy an eSIM, well, get the eSIM for free on Allosim, any country in the world. So you just type in the country that you're traveling to, and the option will come up, you choose it, and then you tap up service, and it will work. 
Great, you just go in your phone, switch the eSIMs, and you're good to go. So that is how you can have service while you're traveling Panama or anywhere else in the world. As I say, AlloSIM, really good app, and it worked miracles for me. Because the last few days, I was using it, and I was so happy that they had an app like that. I may never even know. So shout out to my subscriber who recommended it to me, or my supporter, because that was a big deal. I didn't have any service for the first few days. I'm off here, catch this, catch this, if I try to get Wi-Fi, and it was just kind of annoying. So it's good way you have service, you know? Another app you can use to book your excursions in Panama is Viator. This is a new app for me. I've never used it before until I was in Panama. But Booking.com have a lot of activities, but some of the activities I saw on TikTok that I wanted to do, like the slingshot, it wasn't on Booking.com. So that's how I found Viator. And it's a good app too. Um, yeah, I didn't have any issues with it. All of the things that were on it were true so like they told us that we're getting free drinks and so on so we did get it so it's a good app and i would recommend it Vator. and actually it turns out that booking.com and Vator works together because i had booked an activity through booking.com and it transferred me to Vata. so a two good app use because they literally work together so no you can't get scam or nothing and as i say practice to read reviews once you have booked something read the reviews you can't go wrong if you read the reviews and not one two three review may talk about things that have all 50 and 100 reviews read them that's pretty much am i forgetting anything tj may they ask if i forget none if you dare hear me anybody listen call part right, the flight booking.com read reviews go on youtube book where to stay oh the malls okay malls well, 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 at the airport at the airport yeah be but them know that if you travel before you know so you have to be vigilant when you're at the airport wherever you travel sure, you watch your cars hundred thousand on mobile to watch bright oh and um yeah, rookie mistake do not put any liquids in your carry-on apparently everybody should everybody know this know and i did not know okay because men are like carry-on me always walk with just my suitcase alone but this time i've had too many things i'm not carry carry-on i never know so them that should all my things them so probably it's your first time traveling and you don't have a clue so i'm telling you just don't put no liquid in your carry-on but i forget what i'm say when i go would I talk about the no we don't talk about that no much i'm not gonna sue them for that no, no attempt, that attempt is because you can't prove to them they are terrific. Of course, they can't tell you the careless. Or if you be careless, them tell me, first of all, she should have tell me to take off my watch because everybody else should have got through with them watch. So why as she see my watch, she want me to take it off, put it in a little <coughs> thing where them normally search and take off my shoes, no, no, my watch and, and my bag, right? right? Mm -hmm. Put it in a little thing where they, they, make them scan it. When you could three come back, no friggin' watch. My bag is there, my shoes is there, everything else is there. Where the frig is my watch? What my ox are now? She was like, oh, I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know, lady? What my watch there? All of a sudden, you know, if I don't find a watch, on the ground. On the ground? Yes, that's where the watch I car, thought you said it was in the thing. No, them find it on the ground, so they're going to make it look like, say, they're going to make it look like um, the watch drop out of the tree. But oh, if it drop out of the tree, if anything to drop out, I trade a bit of bag or the slippers. Them teeth. So guys, They're not teeth. You got remember, back squat, okay? when I go to the airport, just have to be vigilant. When I go to the airport, just watch them. Them. So I watch here. Don't watch my dry hand. Nobody come for that now. They didn't even come to see you, oh, Odis. So exactly, and I'm not gonna edit it out. They didn't so come guys, to see you, Odis. They didn't come to see you, Odis. They came to hear watch. me tell them how to book the flight. Anyways, in Panama, guys, there are malls. You have Multiplaza Mall and Abu Mall. Oh, That's the bad. main two malls I know about. If you're looking for cost effective, if you want to shop for on a budget, I would recommend Abu because it have look nice cheap store them in my opinion. And I especially El Costco. I love that store. It's like a mini sheen. Go in there and grab some nice t-shirts and whole heap of things. At girl clothes really cheap check them out and two if you're looking for more luxury items you can check out multiplaza mall multiplaza have so many brand brand players but you know you have to be careful because you will spend when you don't have me i tell you no and they have a lot of food places trust me you see if you want experience if you don't have a visa this is how i would recommend panama if you don't have a visa, you've never been to the States and you want to experience something like it, Panama is the way to go. Because they had so many like food places that's only in the States, like Jamaica do have like Taco Bell, Papa John's, 
I tried so many new stuff and them food just lit to me. Like the food is good to me. Cause I'm gonna go Wendy's. I think it's in this vlog. I went to Wendy's and they sell chicken at the Wendy's. They had mozzarella sticks, so many nice stuff. Like you can't get fat up on a matter, you know, come no put on some pounds, come and tell us there's so many nice food and dairy is their thing. Everywhere you go, pizza, sell, ice cream, I sell, like, I get for understand, sell them into dairy, man, like, which is why I'm asking a break out, so, because the food was good. Was the food good? The food. What was the food? Talk about it, so they can, because, me, me, food, you said. I'm just talking, tell them, so, the worst food ever seen the first one. Oh, no, it was that No, bad. as in, overall, would you rate, Panama, would you say Panama food is good? I think so. But I eat five or six or ten. But I said I can't put chicken. Them can't. Them just know. Guys, the food is good. Him just damn picky. The food I will give chicken it, and him not. He's not willing to try new things. So that is the problem. Everything Even I try. Well, new. Well, listen. Everything what? I try new. Everything that tastes bad, I try new. No, all but when this and all them some of them, me, the Panamanian. So no, me, well, like, the Panamanian food, exactly. like the the the, the, the authentic. Panama food isn't is not our cup of tea. I don't know if we can say it is, but it's no, not it's our disgusting. thing. But they like the, the US franchises and so like the Taco Bell them and the oh, Papa John's oh, and the, the KFC and like, whatever. When is, before, you know, when is Jamaica? Not like that. Them have mozzarella sticks and all chicken and something. Uh, tell them. Yes. So let have it on. I have it in another vlog here, I think. I'm literally mozzarella stick, bro. It's so good. And the fries was different. Every, it's good. And uh, they have a lot of Chinese food too. Everything with there, the states, me that say. Starbucks, even though they're yeah, they Jamaica. Have the Trust me, Applebee's was there, Olive Garden, a lot of stuff, y'all. So you won't have, you can't run out of food options. The only thing I'm going to say uh, um, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, and I wish they had it. Trust yeah. me. But yeah, so if you're looking, to, so food is not an issue, guys. You can find way for food place, especially at Multi Plaza Mall. A lot of food places are there. You can try it. Um, the taxi and the traffic. Tra yes, oh my god, traffic, y'all. If you're going somewhere, you have to leave out early because Panama full of traffic. It moved though. That's the only thing. Yeah. It's not a traffic where sit down. Like, it's like when traffic there in Jamaica, you're stuck and you don't move for like half an hour. No. Them all traffic, but it move. But you can't, even if you're near to something, you can't just leave out exactly on time. Well, what I did, I always say, I could try to leave out half an hour. So if you have to read somewhere at 8 o'clock, because Rio is like in the middle of everything. Rio not that far from nothing. So if you have to read somewhere at 8 o'clock, I say, alright, I could leave out 7.30. So even if there is traffic, we are right. Uber to everywhere. Uber is your best friend. Use Uber. Use Uber and make sure you have your translator app. Um, they understand English to me a little bit. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Even if you don't speak Spanish, their Spanish is like, I can't understand what they might try to say. I don't know if it's because of the hand gestures or what. Because when they're not there, when they talk Spanish, we just not understand nothing. I can't figure out what you try to say. But when I'm in Panama and I'm trying to translate to them, like, I say, all right, food, da da da, da or whatever, they kind of understand. So it's not as bad. So the Spanish isn't too bad to me. If you. Just carry your translator app. Make sure you have the one that's offline that don't use the service. But then again, you're supposed to have your Allo SIM downloaded. So you're supposed to have your service. So you're good to go. So yeah, Uber is your best friend. Use Uber to go everywhere. But I recommend Panama. Love the love, 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 love date. 10 out of 10 experience. I would definitely go back. <laughs> Okay, guys. Yes, it is me. We know I look different. I just do a jaw implant. Come the one my face fatter, so I do a jaw implant. A joke. Here we are going now. So after me come back from foreign, today is Friday, guys. I will come back. We came back when Wednesday, right? I was perfectly fine. Thursday evening, out of the blues, we just feel my face start swell up. And, you know, my jaw start hurt me. So I was like, what the hell? Only if I realize that I have a bad tooth. I just, I was when, I last December, I got a dentist, you know. And this is what, four, three months after? Because we're in April now. So, apparently, I have a bad teeth in my mouth where it has swell up my face like this. So, it looks fat like somebody thumped me. Why did I do this? Hmm? 
It look like even blow up my mouth look normal, you know. I wonder if my guy, guys, my can't go road, sir. Anyway, so my daddy farm, I just left the dentist. Then I put me up on some antibiotics and painkillers. Cause it's like, yo, this shit. Guys, what I tell you now? Can I take out one teeth before you know? Or a tooth? Is it teeth or a tooth? Oh no, no, because it's smarter than me. Anyway, I take out one tooth before, guys, and I tell you now, that shit. It worse than when a female give birth. Believe. When I go wonder how oh, I know this, man just know certain things. Yeah, remember some man think different, man just know certain things. Yo, the shit. At. And no matter how them did inject it, I probably forgot the one story time about the first time. This was probably like four years ago. Or three years ago. I probably forgot the one story time about that. But anyway, yeah, them put me up on some antibiotics. Well, may I get the antibiotic now. Maya, they're not the pharmacy. I try to get them for me. Because I never want to go in there because you know everybody goes, oh, TJ, your face looks so warm to your face. I will beat you up. No, nigga, nobody never beat me up. You mad? I joke, yeah. I can't get beat up, man, that bad. But anyway, yeah, guys, it hurt like hell, yo. That's why they're normal. I just don't want to. I'm a wisdom teeth, you know. Yo, this wisdom teeth, I don't know, like, it's like wisdom teeth, like it have wisdom for true. Like, sometimes it, it, like, it go up and then it can come down and then it, like, it can disappear. It's like, it have a mind of its own. I swear to God. But anyway, so all festivities for the week and next week get put up because I don't come around. So maybe if the swelling go down, maybe I will come around. But otherwise, I don't come around, so guys. And so I look rough. I haven't been to the barber since I'm, um, I come back. I know I'm not going to go barber. I have an appointment yesterday and because the swelling did start from yesterday, I just can't sleep. So for the next few days, I'll be looking like this and worse, like a werewolf. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. So you know the next vlog, maybe because the appointment is next week, Friday. I don't know if I go vlog it because I don't want to hear when I ball out like a big, you know. Because I can't remember some of the thugs, you know. I can't remember some of the thugs, you know. You know, thugs feel pain to you, is it? So, anyway, I'm going to make one of them. I keep on posting until next time. Alright? <laughs> Alright y'all, that is the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, watch the ads, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.